Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from Craft Test Dummies and today I want to take you through a little video profile of the Rhinebeck Sheep and Wool Fest up in the gorgeous Hudson Valley. It was my first time going and I've never been to these fairgrounds and oh my gosh, it just looked like it was right out of a picture postcard. The leaves were turning, there were just tons and tons of people milling about, and while this is considered a sheep and wool festival, there really is something for the entire family. So next year I'm bringing my kids and my husband. So in the main barns you've got all kinds of, of course sheep and wool and stuff. So um, if you need roving that you want to spin into your own yarn or you want to do needle felting or something like that, they have got everything that you could possibly need. Plus, amazing things like drop spindles and shuttles, and I didn't even get any of the looms or spinning wheels. I just did not have a time to take all of the pictures that I really would have needed to take to do that justice. Of course, if you like to do things like, oh, just go right to the yarn, right to the knitting, right to the crochet, they've got that too. Don't worry, they got you covered. You can buy hanks, you can buy skeins, you can buy project kits, basically anything your little heart desires as long as you have two needles or a hook. Now, if making isn't your bag, but buying is, they also have you covered because you can walk in and there are all of these artists that have ready to wear options. I saw hats, recycled and upcycled clothing, um, brand new construction, things that were just stunning and almost like artwork to watch. And then there are all the kind of associated wool items. So you can get your dryer balls. They had a potter there with beautiful um, yarn bowls and accessories. Uh, now don't forget too, if we're talking about a sheep and wool fest, we're talking about everything that you can think of that is made with lanolin. So there were soaps, hand lotions, essential oils and laundry detergents. Now there are also just cute things like little felted ears, handmade ornaments, and some of the sculptures that I saw in the needle felting area kind of blew me away. I love this needle felted dragon, which, oh yeah, you could buy it if you want it. Uh, you've got this gnome, just tons and tons of things that were interesting and kits available too. There were also every kind of button, shawl clasp, vintage items, anything you can imagine to finish your project as well. So if that's too much for some members of your family, send them off to the barns. There are all kinds of looms, shuttles, demonstrations that they can watch. This one had slot looms and they made them and you could buy one uh, in the old timey style. It's like an old fashioned knitting machine and take it home. They had the demonstrations of the caning. They had demonstrations of a printing press. So that was just fun to kind of go through those barns. And I didn't even touch on the actual sheep shearing, sheep dog trials, all of those actual livestock exhibits, including bunnies, anything that gives wool, they had there. And that was just absolutely stunning. So I just want to share a few more pictures and say that while I am not a great knitter or crocheter, I just love things that are handmade. And for me, walking through the barns and seeing these hours and hours of work and artistry and craftsmanship really gave me that kind of kindred spirit feeling. Um, and if you are like, well, I like modern art, well, check out these pictures of needle felting modern art. I was just, again, I never thought about things in that way. And if you're a crafter of any kind, there's always something to be learned by somebody else's artwork. So I also have to give a quick shout out to um, a series of barns that was more like your general county fair. They had like home goods items, different sauces and spreads and wines and cheese. And I tell you, my husband could have been stuck in that barn all day. So the knit and crochet world has their own celebrities too. And I ran into Brooklyn boy. Who knew? I've never met him before, but I was so taken in by his jacket. I just loved him. I also connected with my friends from a cooperative press aka knit girl and my bestie from Ohio the creative goddess showed up to say hi to me too all in all it was an absolutely spectacular day a wonderful experience and it inspired me to get my crochet hook back out and get working so if you have any questions please leave me a comment I'd love to hear from you make sure you check out other people's Rhinebeck videos especially about Rhinebeck sweaters and above all have a crafty day